Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super, super exciting video to film today for you guys. Today I will be doing my very first Poka Market haul. So if you don't know what Poka Market is, it is basically like a marketplace for photo cards. I'm gonna go a little bit more in detail in a few minutes about what Poka Market actually is, how I discovered it, and just a few like basic information about it. But basically, I have my very first package from Poka Market today in front of me. So we're gonna open it together. I'll show you guys what I bought and we will go from there. So let's go ahead and get started. So Poker Market is a marketplace for K-pop photo cards that's based in South Korea. I discovered them on Twitter just recently and I figured that it was worth a try because the PCs that they had were just so affordable. So when you first log in, the homepage shows the different groups they have PCs for as you can see on the screen. In my opinion, the selection of groups they have is still pretty small but almost all the groups that I collect are on there. When you're ready to search for a card, you can just click on the group's icon and it'll take you to the PCs they have for sale for that group. One feature that I really love that Pokemarket does is you're able to pick a specific member at the top of the screen and it'll show you just that member's photo cards. It's much easier to find whatever you're looking for if you're looking for a specific member and it saves you so much time instead of scrolling through all the listings that they have. And when you're ready to actually purchase a card, you just click on the specific card that you want to buy. For example, here I'm choosing this Chani Be Aware Special Kit PC. Once you click on the listing, you'll see that there's a purchase price and a transaction fee, which is, I believe, always going to be a dollar. After that, you just scroll down to the Agree and click Buy and Save and the PC will be in your collection. So now that I've given you a little bit of an idea of what Poka Market is, let's go ahead and get into this package. So I shipped this out last week. Today is October 28th. It's P1 second anniversary. Happy second birthday, P1 Harmony. But I have my package arrived today. I shipped it out last week so i paid for shipping last week monday it shipped out i think earlier this week through fedex and i got it today so it took about a total of two weeks but actual like shipping time it took one week to get to me so processing and packing i guess took one week and then uh the actual like transit time was a week so it came in this box right here it's a pretty smallish box and it's pretty light so let's go ahead and open it it's very well sealed i guess there's a lot of tape i actually don't know where okay i found a way and i'm super excited everything that i got in this box was really affordable I will get into price and how much I paid for each card that oops for each card that I got a little bit more um, once I talk about it or once I pull them out but for now when you open the box it is this is my first time opening a Poke Market package so we're experiencing this together so this is my first like reaction so it comes in this little bubble mailer I can reuse this box. <laughs> comes in this bubble mailer. Oops, yeah, I got it stuck. And it comes in this little clear box. So I have actually uh, been following Poka Market on Twitter for a while now. And I've seen uh, like people take proof photos and post it on Twitter. So I had an idea of what the packaging is going to look like but having it in my hands is like super cool now that I have it. So it comes in this clear case like this. There's a little Polka Market logo sticker. 
and I really like this. I think this comes with every order, so that's pretty cool. I'll probably reuse this to hold sleeves or freebies or something like that, but I love that it comes like protected in this little clear case. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open and just take everything out. So I think for this order, here's just a clear case. It's pretty big. So there you go, put that off to the side. I think in this order I have 18 cards. I'm not quite sure if the limit for one package is 20 cards. I will have to look into that, but uh, this order had 18, so let's just get right into it. <laughs> so right on top of the stack, you get a little Poke Market business card. I forgot what it was called for a second, but it just says thank you for your purchase in Poke Market. It's so cute. I love it. And I'm probably going to leave a review on Twitter later on, so really cute. I love that. And then let's get right into the cards. Let me just show you like a... A general idea of everything I have here. Every card is individually sleeved which I really like because it provides protection to every single card. I think and I think it's really cool. Oh, do I have another? Oh there's another <laughs> another little business card but I think some sleeves are hollow so it looks like they recycle sleeves which is pretty cool so let's get right into each specific card. <laughs> So our first PC, here we have a Jamin card from Beatbox. Pretty cute. And it's in really good condition. I'm pretty sure this one was about $1. I will put on the screen how much each PC cost me in total. So here we have a Beatbox card with his little mirror Selka. That was a really cute card that I wanted, so I'm glad that I have it now. Next, we have another Jamin card, and this is in a hollow sleeve, which I love. So we have another beatbox card from Jamin. I think this is his Digipack card, I'm not quite sure. But there he is. These cards are actually in really great condition, so that's really cool. Next, we have another Jamin card. So I obviously had a lot of fun on the NCT section of the website, considering we've already gone through three Jamin cards, but this is from their Dreaming Luggage Tag MD. I think this is from the Universe MD. And I really wanted this card ever since it came out, but I missed like all the group orders for it. And that was just during a time when I wasn't paying attention to a lot of K-pop MD, so I think I got this under $10, I'm pretty sure. This time around, I did not spend more than $10 per card. I don't even think I spent more than $6 on a card, so I got this for a pretty good price. Really cute. I love this Jamin card, and I'm super happy to have it now. Next, we have a Yuta card. So cute. So this is the baking Baker House collection that they did, which was kind of like super random to me, but when I saw this Yuta card, I knew that I had to have it. I'm not quite sure where specifically this is from, but I will put it when I edit. So we have this Yuta card. He's so handsome with his long hair, but we have that. These sleeves are actually really like thick. They kind of remind me of the are they called popcorn popcorn sleeves but yeah they're about the same thickness and like feeling so i wouldn't be surprised if that's what they are and moving right along we have a favorite pc this is utah's classic version pc i don't know if i got that version correct but this is a pc that has been missing from my collection for the longest time and i just haven't traded bought or actively looked for it so during this poke market haul i decided to just finish off that missing <laughs> card and i finally got him so we have that he's so cute in his little suit so we have classic utah next we have a vernon card 
This is from Face the Sun. This is when I, <laughs> I think so, Face the Sun. Yes, this is from Face the Sun, the Ray version. So Vernon had a lot of cards on Poke Market and I was super excited about that. So I was excited to buy quite a few Vernon cards and start working on his collection. So we have that card. Next, we have another Vernon card from Ray. See, I thought these were dupes, but they're not. He's holding a, he, he has a finger heart there, but we have this one from Face the Sun. Here he is, really cute concept. I really like his Face the Sun card, so super excited to have that. Next, we have this is from Attica. I think it's from the carrot version, if I remember correctly. But this is from Attica. Attica, Ataka. I am not quite sure. But we have this Vernon card. Super cute. I think Vernon was one of the first um, members that I looked for on Poke Market. And when I saw that there were so many of his cards up there, I just knew that I had to have everything <laughs> next i have this you make my dawn you made my do okay i will just you made my dawn haha <laughs> so you have you have i have this you made my dawn pc he looks so cute in this photo card he's just kind of blank <laughs> so we have that. I was super excited to find more older PCs for Vernon on Poke Market because I usually don't find any cards from like You Made My Day, You Made My Dawn on Instagram. So when I found this for a really good price, I just knew that I had to get it. So we have that to the collection. And I think this is the last Vernon card we have. This is his Face the Sun Horonhe card that I really, really wanted. <laughs> So he's doing the Hoshi pose in this card. So cute. I think this is from the carrot version, if I remember correctly. Hopefully I did, but here is another Vernon Selka. Super cute. I really like this card. He's pulling the Hoshi pose in it. Okay, and I think that's it for Vernon. This is like so fun because I remember half of what I got and half I don't remember. So it's just like a little surprise for myself. <laughs> so next we have a Juyan Pob. I think this is a Pob. Yeah, a Pob or a fan sign card. I don't quite remember, but this is from Maverick era and he's wearing his Balenciaga black hoodie that I really like on him. And he has that like short Maverick haircut, which I really like. So. I just knew that I had to have this pub. This has been a pub that I've been looking for for a while now, actually. So I just knew I had to snag him when I saw him on Poke Market. So we have that Dreon card. So we have like a mix of <laughs> the biases in here. Next, we have this Dreon card also from Maverick. I think this one is an event card or a lucky draw. I'm not quite sure, but this one too, he just looks so cozy in it and I really really wanted it, so we have this one, he's so cute. And then I had started buying things before um, I got my pulls from my group orders for Be Aware, but when I saw this card I knew that I just had to have it. This is from the special kit. I'm not quite sure which one it is. I think it's just Selfie A or something, but this is from Be Aware's special kit. And this is just his Selfie PC. And I think I got this for like 50 cents, so I, I didn't have a problem with buying it. <laughs> so we have that so cute with his orange hair. And then we have Kevin. Oh my gosh, I really love Kevin's pubs from this era and when I saw that he was on Poke Market already I was so excited because his gray hair looks so good on him and I think this is K-Town for you K-Town for you this is K-Town for you I think I if I'm wrong whatever <laughs> but this is Kevin's 
a pub for be aware one of the shops and i knew i had to have it because look at him so handsome so got that this one was also really affordable considering it's a newer pub but i have no problem with that it was such a steal okay we are reaching the end next we have this kevin pub this was the pub that i bought like right before i shipped out this package because when i saw it on the template look at that curl it's so perfect and look at him he's so perfect but this one i know is make star because i remembered it from the template so we have kevin's make star 2 pub for be aware look at him he's so cute perfect i love this kevin pub so much okay and then i couldn't leave without a chani pub so i have this chani pub from make star also unfortunately no changmin for this haul but hopefully next time he is in the haul but we have chani's make star 2 pub from be aware i'm so happy that chani has pink hair in his pubs or most of his pubs all of them but he has pink hair in his pubs, so I'm super excited. I really love this set. Look at that. Such a pretty set. And I'm super excited to get Changmin's own so I could put them in my binder. It's so pretty. Chani. And his pink hair. Okay. Next, we have some Changkin cards. I could not leave without some Changkin cards because... I don't know if this is gonna be posted before or after my reorganizing video, but I think I have said before that I started collecting Monster X and uh, specifically Chanky, so I wanted to work more on his photo cards, so I got some from Shape of Love, and this one is so good with his black hair. So handsome. Okay, so I got that. I really like Monster X because they're just perfectly sized for nine pocket pages so it's so fun to put these away <laughs> and then lastly for this haul we have this no limit card so cute he's doing his little grin grin smile smirk whatever it is but he's so cute this is from no limit super cute i love this photo card and that is it so that is it for the haul that was honestly so fun let me just <laughs> so i got all of these pcs i am super excited to put them away in my binder um if you guys want me to film a more in-depth like tutorial on how to buy on poker market please let me know in the comments below i will definitely do something like that if you guys want me to if you have any specific or like just any questions in general about poker market my experience or any help that you need please let me know i will pro probably answer the comment or if not i will put it in the video if you guys ask me for it but i'm super excited to share this with you guys i hope you guys enjoyed watching um and yeah i will see you guys in the next one bye